So this is the uh, second week of September at Richard Challenger School in Morden Manor and um, the nuke survived quite well, Queen's mated laying eggs and we've just put some um, garlic infused sugar syrup on polystyrene supports within the recycled polystyrene box that you can see. So what that means is that um, we've had a little bit of honey off the colony, they've produced a new colony and they're flying well and the Ivy honey flow, which is due in well, due to start in, in a few days' time actually, will um, produce some very good forage for them and bring them on. Lots of fresh pollen coming in, but they need uh, flight fuel, they need um, some sort of energy calorie fuel to make those journeys to go and gather the nectar. And they use the sugar syrup as a supplement, really. They don't um, store it and they won't mix it with the honey for the uh, youngsters in the spring, they'll be consuming that and burning it off purely as flight fuel to go out there and make the journeys to go and get the nectar. So um, the garlic will help um, suppress a lot of the disease issues that uh, beekeepers generally have in the UK or um, domesticated bees do. Uh, wild bees don't have so, much, so many of the problems but if I just bring the camera phone down to the entrance now you can see most of them are coming in with uh, what appears to be nothing but in fact that's either nectar or water. You can only see um, something coming in when you sort of associate the yellow blobs on their legs, which is the pollen. Um, but we'll have to move this one on the top um, to build it up with the flying bees from another colony. Uh, so look out for the next episode of how this colony is going to be built up, um, moved from uh, Richard Challenger School in Morden Manor and probably down to um, Buckland Lake, Buckland Lakes Estate down in um, the hills of Surrey. That's Mark Gale, Bees Max, second week of September.